Hey there, it's Miley with Cloud App. Uh, today, I'm super excited about the blog post I'll be talking about. Um, it's a comprehensive guide to Asana. I'm a huge believer in Asana. Um, it helps keep my, um, keep my days organized and keeps tasks on track. And it's a great way to collaborate with the team as far as keeping, um, keeping all of our projects aligned. So um, I, uh, I'll go over um, some things uh, that will help you with Asana and help make it a better uh, tool for you. Um, so first we'll go over what Asana is, and um, basically it's a, a project management software that um, is super simple to use, um, but you may not know about some of the features, and so I want to go over that today so you're using it um, as much as possible. So um, three noteworthy Asana features include the project views. Um, so you can either view it as a board, a list, or a timeline. And so depending on the project, um, the, one of those may be uh, more useful than the other. Um, also the in-app communication. Um, I, I basically upload cloud app links there, um, as well as any other project um, uh, details and then I'll communicate back and forth using that platform. So it's a nice place to keep your conversations um, tracked so you can look back on them. Um, and it's a great tool to use in conjunction with Cloud App. Um, also, the templates are proven to um, be really helpful. Um, and they have templates for so many different kinds of departments and um, different verticals. Uh, so go ahead and take a look at some of those. And then um, I'll, we'll also go over five Asana best practices. Getting comfortable with my tasks, that's a, basically where you can see everything that's assigned to you so that you're not having to look in each sp uh, specific board um, to find all of your tasks. It's all in one place so you can see those. Um, the Make sure you're focused on team collaboration. It is useful as like a to-do list tool, um, which is what I used it for for a long time, but the benefit really comes from um, looping in other coworkers and other people on your projects so that you can um, work together on that. And then take advantage of color codes. This is something that um, after reading this article, I realized that I need to implement more, um, uh, but that will kind of help you um, establish different, uh, different colors will help you um, stay organized with different uh, types of tasks. Um, Commit to cleanup. Uh, this is something that if you fall behind on, um, can make Asana less useful to you. Uh, make sure that you're, you know, marking off tasks as you go along or uh, moving the due dates if, ne if needed. That way that you're actually following it and not just ignoring it because half the things are already completed or whatever it is. And then um, you'll also um, want to integrate your favorite tools with Asana. Um, so you can um, especially Google Sheets, that's one that I'll call out, um, and Slack as well. Um, those are great uh, tools that I already use, and so I can integrate them with Slack so that every, or, sorry, with Asana so that everything is um, in one place. Um, so yeah, make sure that you're using your tools to your advantage. Um, and yeah, well, uh, hopefully this will help you um, use Asana more effectively. If you have any other tips or tricks, feel free to put it in the comments. I would love to uh, continue to get better at Asana and continue to improve productivity with it.